everybody. I'm here with another video, and I say this quite often, I think, that I've been meaning to make for a while, and I finally got the chance to make it while it was on my mind because I saw a few people recently asking me the same question, which is, when you are changing your layer heights, how should you change your cure times? So I understand a lot of people may know the answer to this, but a lot of people don't know the answer to this. So I'm going to give you uh, my take on it, what I do and what has worked for me uh, over hundreds and hundreds of prints where I change my settings and from printer to printer, even with different resins. So I do feel like the advice I'm going to give you is very solid. Your mileage may vary, but I think if you go by the parameters I'm setting, uh, and it involves a tiny little bit of math, not too much, um, we'll go from there. So, so that's what I came to talk to you today about, not about the awesome trees I'm going to be selling from BloodySwordMiniatures.com with removable canopies that just go on. When they're on, they stay on. You can move them around. Anyway, not talk about that. Talk about a little bit of math. So what we're going to do, I don't want to stress people out. What we're going to do is we're going to use Binet's formula for calculating the nth Fibonacci uh, number. Oh, wait, wrong video, wrong video, sorry. We're not going to do that kind of involved math. Don't freak out. It's a lot easier. So what I do, if I am using, and I'm going to, I'm going to around my head or replace my face, whatever, I will show you actual numbers. So if, if, if I lose you with this little talky math, stay tuned. I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible. But what I do is whatever percent I re I'm only going to talk about reducing for now. It goes the same way for increasing. Whatever percent I reduce in layer height, I reduce by half that time in cure time in terms of percent. So what I mean is this. If, and I'm going to make the numbers easy to start. If I'm doing 0.05 millimeter layers, and to make the math easy, let's say at 10 second cure time. So 0.05 millimeter layer height, 10 second cure time. If I go down to 0.04 millimeter layer height, I have reduced from 0.05 to 0.04, which is a 20% reduction. Going by the formula I just gave you, I then reduce my cure time correspondingly by half that percentage. So I reduced from 0.05 to 0.4, 20%. I reduce my cure time by 10%. So in that case, if I was 0.05, 10 seconds, I go 0.04, nine seconds. If I was going from, say that 0.04, now I'm at 0.04, stay with me, I'm at 0.04, I'm at nine seconds. If I then say, well, I want really fine detail, because the two, the two layer heights I print at, if anyone cares, are 0.04, because there's a big difference between 0.05 and 0.04 to me. And then when I want really fine, really fine, like I'm giving to a pro painter or someone, I go to 0.02. So if I'm going for 0.04, now we're at 9 seconds, as we said. If I drop down to 0.02, I've now dropped down from 0.04 to 0.02, 50%. I then take half that percent, so 25%, and that's where I reduce my cure time by. So that comes out to approximately, we don't want to get too precise here, say 2.4 seconds. So I'm going from 9 down to 6.6 .6 seconds. So go down half from layer heights, I don't go down half my time, right? I go down a quarter of my time. So keep that in mind. Any drop you do, here's my advice. Pay attention and it's going to be on the screen. If I go down, whatever percent I go down in layer height, I, I take half of that percentage and that's how much I reduce my time by. I also do that on my bottom layers. So let's go back to my first example where 0.05 millimeter layer height, I was doing 10 second cure time. So let's say that meant I was doing 50 seconds on my bottom layers. When I go from 0.05 to 0.04, that's my 20% reduction. I then reduce my time by 10%, even on my bottom layers. So I go from 50 second bottom layers, reduce it by 10%, five seconds takes me to 45 seconds on my bottom layers. Okay, so let's look at that example again one more time. So I have a, uh, a print that came out perfectly at 0.05 layer height with 10 second cure time and 50 seconds bottom layer. When I go to 0.04, I'm now dropping to nine seconds on my normal cure and 45 seconds on my bottom cure time. So that's it, it's pretty simple, very simple. If you're going, I guess I should use other examples because some people I know point at, print at 0.03. So let's say you're at 
you know, you're at 0.04 and you want to drop down to 0.03, which I never do. I say I'm 0.04, 0.02, but let's say you want to use 0.03. From 0.04 to 0.03, you're dropping down 25%. That means you're going to drop down by 12.5% on your cure time. Now, since these numbers aren't going to be precise, you're going to, if you, well, you could use a calculator to make them precise, but if you're just rounding, when it comes to your cure times, round up. So if you're at, say, let's say the reduction in cure time would take you, let's make up numbers again, from 8 seconds to, say, 5.5 seconds or 5.67 or whatever, I might just round up to 6 to be safe. A little extra cure can't hurt. But I think what's important is you have to understand that, that there's a ratio of like 2 to 1, what you drop your layer height to what you drop your time. You never want to drop them both the same. If you drop from you know, 0.04 millimeter layer height down to 0.02 millimeter layer height, which is 50%, you can't drop your cure time by 50%. You will fail. So I'm hoping that this solves this problem because I do see this question come up actually quite often on the boards that I frequent and I have a lot of people direct message me with this question. So I figured time to put a really quick video out there and, and hopefully get this information out there and uh, hopefully it helps you guys. Hopefully, it, you know, you know my goal is always to get to the best prints, the least fails possible, you know, share my knowledge that I've gained from all this printing. And that's the formula I've come up with. And for those who are disappointed, we're not discussing, um, you know, the end number in the Fibonacci sequence using Binet's formula. I do, I do urge you to go research that on your own. If you can truly understand that formula, you're a very smart person. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and again, once again, thanks to everyone who supported my Kickstarter. The love and support you guys gave me, very humbling. Uh, very nice. I, I'm very happy with the responses I got. Uh, it's all going to be delivered very soon. And hopefully these trees, I'm making, these trees are really awesome. Hopefully uh, you go to bloodyswordminiatures.com. Uh, they'll be out sometime in early December uh, at a very reasonable price with different leaf canopies. going to be the last trees hopefully you ever need. Uh, and that's it. Thanks and happy 3D printing, everyone.